Hey, you want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. Ha, now. I mean, uh, hey, help. Uh, help. Hold on. This man is bothering now. me. Someone help me. Officer, help. We go back when I say we go back. And we're live. Welcome back to part 61 of the full game commentary and playthrough. Arthur is relaxing at the moment because he has a long night tonight. I'm your friendly neighbor Super Antonio and please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you would enjoy seeing more of my Red Dead Redemption 2 content. We need to see the mayor. He's got some more work for us. Oh, it's you. And here's Jean Marc, the mayor's assistant. He doesn't like us. I got his letter. Ah, uh, Mr. Arthur. Sir? Education is the most wonderful thing. It'll raise us higher and higher. Make civics and ethics less a work of uh, dirty minded pragmatists like me. And the calling of higher, better men. Hear, hear. Without it, we are savages. But with learning, why, in 50 years, man will put down his guns and start living a life of relentless purity. Hear, hear. <laughs> but the rich can be so very self-absorbed. How can I help? You can't. We need all our strengths. That's the point. We've gone over this. Violence is never right. Jean-Marc is a true believer, and his faith in the mayor also implies that at one point, the mayor was a good man. I agree with you, but it's not violence. It's the mere threat of violence. Against whom? Also note Jean-Marc's suit. That is a loud plaid. <laughs> Against Hector Fellow's worst nature. To convince him to make good on his promise to help finance the library. Who is he and where do I find him? Arthur will take a moment to post for the thumbnail and the Instagram. Link in the description if you'd like to follow, in addition to links for the merch store, my second channel, which features more podcast related content, and our Discord. He's a newspaper man. And he's. He's a leaving town on a coach, heading to his country estate because he doesn't like your heavy handed approach. Well, you certainly won't like my heavy-handed approach. Thank you, Mr. Arthur. You'll spot him on the road through the bayou. He has a red coach. So we are clear. I do not approve of this behavior. Politics, however, is all about compromise. And at some point, the game switches from grabbing power to keeping power. That's where Arthur comes in. I'm back, girl. You're okay, girl. <laughs> Where do we need to go? Right about here.
Okay, we jump onto this wagon and go to work. Stop the coach! Who the heck are you? Hey, hold it, I'm getting in. Okay, drive. What the hell do you want? Mr. Fellows, ain't it? Charity, sir. And an appeal to your better nature. This is most impudent. Oh, no, it's not most impudent. Trust me, buddy. I can get a whole lot more impudent. But this is a good cause for a wealthy man such as yourself. The chance to add some dignity to all that wealth. Dignity? By helping to finance a library in town. Think of the prestige, sir. Oh, get out of my carriage. But the mayor... The mayor? <laughs> the mayor is a crook. <laughs> I'm a real crook. I will not be bullied by you, sir. Get out of here! Ah! Oh, I'm sorry, was that? Yes, I'd like to finance the library for the common good. Ah! I didn't hear you. See? That wasn't difficult. You know, they say it's better to give than to receive. And certainly in the case of a beating, I know that's true. Now, the mayor awaits your check, sir. Been a pleasure. And there's a good man in there. Let him live a little more. Driver! Hold up! <clears throat> As you work, drive on! Interesting how similar these are to Herr Strauss missions. The primary difference being, of course, we're not really getting paid. The mayor is blackmailing Arthur. Consider Arthur an unpaid intern, or perhaps a volunteer for the mayor's re-election campaign. At any rate, we need to return to the mayor's house after dark for further instructions. Or we can go right now and explore. Arthur made an entire video on this very scenario. There's nothing much in here. Let's move on. We need to speak to Brother Dorkins again. Let's see what he has to say. Hi there. Hello. Hi there. Mister? Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. And Brother Dorkins introduces us to Sister Calderon, who is essential to the redemption aspect of Red Dead Redemption 2. Sister Calderon is one of my favorite characters in the franchise for this reason alone. However, the fact that John meets her eight years later in Undead Nightmare makes her even cooler. Sister, I've done as you asked. Bless you. But it's not sister. It's Mother Superior. Mother Superior Calderon. Our bishop was a stickler for regulations. <laughs> Until he got sick last week and ate half of the cathedral choir boys. I'm sorry. I only mention it because my girls are laughing at you calling me sister. What do you think is causing all this? Hmm. 
Déjame ver. Mexico is an old country. Many faiths have lived and died here. Many evil spirits have flourished. I have no idea what is afflicting the people here. But I know it is a sickness of the soul. Something supernatural, maybe. Certainly nothing rational. Perhaps if you were to get me a live one of these creatures, we could try a couple of experiments. Certainly. Get me a new one. One who was recently human. I want to work with a subject who has only recently turned. I'll see what I can find for you. Gracias, señor. <laughs> Cállense. No puedo creer cómo se portan. I would happily play a whole game with her. The church needs more nuns like Mother Superior Calderon. And back to Arthur. Brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. No offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's kids that'll work! Don't hurt him, please! Chasing more kids. I hate leaving Chapter 4, but to be honest, I won't miss those kids. You all right? Oh, I'll live. Kid did this? Uh, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way, I think. Thank you. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Last Saturday... Hey, you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I know, sir. I could hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister. Intimidate here, he runs off, the kid runs off, and we get an interesting cutscene. Hey, you want some company, mister? No. You sure? First playthrough, I had completely forgotten about Mrs. Downs and had no idea who she was. Life has not been kind since the untimely death of her husband. Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. Ha, now. I mean, uh, hey, help. Uh, help. Hold on. This man is bothering me. Now. Someone help me. Officer, help. <sighs> and would we really get this much law chasing us for a disturbing the peace charge? We need to stay one step ahead of the law, as always. However, note, as Arthur runs, the timing of this encounter. Right after doing a good deed for Sister Calderon, Arthur is reminded of his past life. His past sins, as it were, are catching up to him. Paraphrase Johnny Cash and Moby, you can run on for a long time. Sooner or later, God will cut you down. Sister Calderon is in front of the cathedral. When I was younger, those challenges used to frustrate me. Mr. Morgan! Hey, excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't! No, I did. Oh, I hope the boy... He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Sister Calderon goes in for an awkward hug here. Very charming. Everyone needs a hug, especially Arthur. Brother Dorkins is greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. And I really don't like the look the Padre is giving us here. Looks like he doesn't trust us, which, to be fair, he shouldn't. One good deed doesn't make up for a lifetime of bad, but it's a start, and it should count for something. 
thank you. You see, it's a thing, but my mother gave it to me when I was a novice, shortly before she passed. You are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, father, sister. Enjoy your day. See, father? Brother Dorkin's phone. I told you. Brother Dorkin. And we owe the city five bucks. I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. We have knocked out every stranger mission and side quest in Chapter 4, with the exception of a final meeting with the mayor. And coincidentally, not really, we are in front of the trolley station, and Dutch is right across the street. We better go see what he wants. I'll see you in Part 62. This video is sponsored by Super Antonio Part 2 my second channel that features more podcast-related content, in addition to gameplay from all of the other video games I enjoy. You can find the link at the bottom of the channel page or in the description of this video. Like and subscribe for short stories, book, movie, and TV reviews, and also commentaries where I talk about whatever is interesting me at the moment. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I hope Appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content. We shall meet again. Further on down the trail. I'm the coach. Who the heck are you? Hey, hold it. I'm getting in. Okay. Drive. What the hell do you want? Mr. Fellows, ain't it? What's going on? He says all fine.